Hi, I'm Joan, but most of my friends call me the Crepe Queen because I make wedding cakes out of crepes. Now I also make plated crepes, beautiful, warm, delicious crepes. And today I'm gonna to share with you tips and tricks for making beautiful plating. And why do we do this? Because we eat with our eyes. So let's begin with a chocolate fall crepe. I'm taking a simple chocolate ganache and I'm going to spread it. Ah, so nice. I'll spread it all the way to the edge. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Beautiful. Now I'm going to give it the crepe Suzette fold. So I fold it in half and I fold it again, kind of like this side, a little bit better. How pretty is that? Now, we need to sauce it up a little bit. So I'm going to just do a little squiggle. How pretty is that? I'm gonna take my crepe, set it on there. Next, we need some decoratives. And what says fall? Nothing says fall, like beautiful pecans. So I'm gonna maybe get a couple of these going. I like to do things in threes like a lot of people. And then there's more. We need a little color contrast when we're plating. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking of mint. I like to clip my mint off and just get a nice little cluster going, just the tip. And I'm gonna set that here. I've got a little color going. It's not enough for me, I love color. So sometimes when I'm plating, I'll take some flowers. These are not edible flowers, by the way. They're not poisonous, but I wouldn't eat them, and I would caution my, my friends that these are just for decoration. Oh my gosh, that's getting pretty, but you know what we need? We need a finishing touch. So I'm gonna put a little sprinkle of powdered sugar on here, and voila. How beautiful is that? I also like to make unusual seasonal crepe presentations. To, right now, it's early November, and I'm thinking autumn, I'm thinking leaves turning. I wanna give this one a really rustic autumn changing leaves vibe. So what I'm spreading on my crepe this time is a white chocolate hazelnut ganache, okay? And I think what I'm gonna do is this time, I'm gonna roll it into what is called the roll. So let's think, instead, instead of the uh, squiggle, I think this time I'm going to do what I call the apostrophe as, as my sauce. So I just take a nice teaspoonful and pull it into an apostrophe. And I'm going to take my roll, put it across there. Nice. And that's fine, but it's not enough for me. So let me just give you some more ideas for giving this a certain amount of glamour. We're going to sprinkle on some toasted almonds. Now I like to get my almonds kind of going, uh, acting like they're escaping from the plate. Not too long ago, I was in Stockholm and I loved the plating there. And I noticed that their nuts always looked like they were escaping. I love to capture that look, but a not enough color for me. So let's keep moving. Oh, this is pretty. I don't know what it is, but I love it. Let's just get a cluster. This is too big, but I'm going to pinch it back. Now, here's a little tip for you. Whenever you're working at the cooktop, I recommend you keep um, flowers and herbs nearby for your savory cooking, for your plate decorating. That way you don't have to run outside and pick your flowers. I'm liking that. but I still want a little more pizzazz on my plate. So I'm gonna try a little contrast here. 
just a little bit. Oh man, that's nice. You know what's missing though? What's missing is a little sprinkle. I've heard there's snow in the Midwest. There was snow on Halloween. So this is a re relatively authentic autumn plating. I hope you like it. The holidays are coming. And so I think I'm going to do my third plating with a little bit of sparkle and excitement. Let's go ahead and let's do raspberry and raspberry. I happen to have a lovely raspberry ganache that also has a little bit of lemon curd in it. So it has a little, it sings a bit. It has a little bit of zing. I'm going to spread this out. And I'm going to do a fold that's called my double crepe Suzette fold. I do this when I have an 8-inch crepe and a small plate, and I want it to fit perfectly. So I'm simply going to fold it in half, fold it in half again, and let's do that one more time. Boom. Very nice. But before we plate it, let's go ahead and let's do a nice sauce. I think I'm going to do raspberry and raspberry. So I'm going to take a nice heaping teaspoon, and taking the back of the spoon, I'm going to give it a schmear. Ah, oh, that's a, a nice shape. Next, I'm going to set my crepe right on top. And we're going to have a little fun. I have some friends at Graffiti Sprinkles, and they've sent me samples of these glorious, colorful, metallic, um, a metallic mix of sprinkles. And what it is is Inside these sprinkles, they have chocolate crispies, which is delicious, both delicious and it won't break your teeth like traditional uh, sprinkles would do. So let's go ahead, and I'm just going to put some over here. Actually, I'm going to be very careful. Oh my gosh. See, we want that holiday sparkle. You can never get enough holiday sparkle. Aren't these pretty? They're kind of like a rose gold, a pearl color, and a bronze. So pretty. Now what else do we need? I'm thinking we can also use some shiny pecans because they're going to give more sparkle to the plate. I, I like to search for my whole pecans. By the way, I did a video on glazed pecans a few weeks ago, and I hope you'll watch it if you haven't done so already. These maple glazed pecans are crazy good. I do them with maple syrup, I do them with honey. This one's going to go that way. And they are make a great gift, and they love crepes. They love to play with crepes. Now, I'm liking it, but I'm not loving it because I still like those traditional colors of Christmas. So let's see if we can find a nice piece of greenery that will work well. Well, I'm actually thinking it's a, that this could look very nice. You could use mint. You could use a less traditional shade of green. But you always, when you're plating, you always want to get color contrast going. Now I'm going to sprinkle this with a little powdered sugar to just amp it up. And I'm going to say to you, happy holidays. Don't be afraid to get a little flashy. Now thank you so much for cooking with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll come back next Tuesday. And take a few moments, if you don't mind, go down to my description. You'll see that I do have a discount code for Graffiti Sprinkles, and they come in all different colors and types. I, additionally, link to my website, and you can get the recipes for all these ganaches and sauces. Thanks again, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Yeah.